I remember hearing at Kensington years ago, kind of like the, when you feel God nudging you to do something, just lean into it and see it out, do what you can. We had conducted a number of clothing drives and actually a youth sports equipment drive for different organizations down in Pontiac. And that then created the idea of Oxford Open Handed. My mom would have students that would sometimes come to school in like the same clothes every day, like dirty clothes. So she would take my brother and I's old clothes and would drop them off to them in the middle of the night sometimes. Not the ones they were wearing most of the time, but put them in and take them to school or drop them off at the different homes. She and my dad had talked about something like this for a while, but never as something like, oh, like let's actually do it. It was kind of like, a, wouldn't it be cool if one day I think my dad and my mom and I, we were just kind of like, what if we just tried this? By the end of the day, we literally had a business plan for Oxford Open Handed. We set a day for our first collection drive. We decided, let's just do it in, the, in our house and invite people in. So Scott and the boys started taking apart our garage, <laughs> turned our really messy garage into a really cool spot. In that span, we had, I think, like almost 200 appointments just in our garage in the, like, year round. So in the winter, we had to keep the garage door shut and we had a space heater out there and it was freezing cold. We still have pictures of like in our basement of just mounds and mounds of clothes stacked up against the wall. I think every single day we went down to our basement. One of us said, what were we thinking? I think they just really wanted to fill a gap that they saw, which was kids needing clothes and sports equipment in a way that would honor their dignity. So we started to look around for different opportunities. A mutual contact of ours told us about this space that may be available. The Oxford Downtown Development Authority offered us this space and have allowed us to use this rent-free. And all we had to do was come in here and clean it up a little bit. We were able to pretty much make it to what we have now. We have a lot of volunteers from from Kensington, we have different people doing drywalling and the electrical work and just so many great Great helpers. So downstairs we have a bunch of racks and shelves of clothes ranging from newborn clothes all the way up to adult sizes for teenagers. And so then once families come in, we just give them a big bag and they're allowed to take whatever they need. And there's no limit here. There's, they don't have to pay anything. They don't have to provide any kind of um, information. Our only criteria is if they say, hey, can we come get some clothes? Then that's enough for us. I do the scheduling so I get people here who need clothes, who want to donate clothes, or people who want to volunteer. But then after that, it's really those people who then show up have really done the work to make this the way it is. We have our volunteer wall back there where there's a bunch of names and signatures. Those are just some of all the people who have come and volunteered here who have helped out. And that's really the biggest thing about this space that we've been able to have is that not only have we been able to have more people come get clothes, but we've been able to have so many more people come and help others get clothes. The Move Out Network is just an, is a beautiful opportunity to try some different teams, to, to take what you're passionate about and to just go out and try what it looks like to volunteer volunteer and in that space. So one of our dreams with the Move Out Network is that our teams would work together and collaborate together and share some of their resources. And so that has happened really beautifully with Oxford Open Handed. So far, we've actually worked with a number of different Move Out teams through Kensington's Move Out Network, uh, including the House of Hope Ministries, the Afghan Refugee uh, Welcome Team, the Orient Action Team, and then they've also worked with our WAVE project. They have provided some things for their Essentials clothing van. One of the things that has really been poured into us is the idea that people can give of their time, talents, and treasures uh, to something bigger than themselves. And even our name, Oxford Open Handed, was created in that, mm -hmm. um, that idea. It's not just us giving that there's a lot of giving back that is done. I think the Huller family, they listened really well. They just took this step of faith, not knowing what the outcome was gonna be, not knowing how they were gonna manage it all. And then every step of the way, as they've been obedient, it feels like God has come in and provided. It's just an encouragement to me personally, when I feel God stirring something in me, like to just take that step of faith. One of my favorite stories is pretty recent. We had a woman, it was her, um, her two sons' birthday coming up and she wasn't going to be able to really do anything for them. So we had put out a Facebook post asking if anyone wanted to help out. And we had 
Um, I think like two dozen people give money through Facebook and we were able to give them a pretty substantial gift card for them to be able to get gifts. It was just awesome. She then sent me a picture, I think on their birthday, of just this table full of presents for them. And she just said how it was like their best birthday ever. And I've kind of just sat back and been like, wow, like this couldn't have happened without God playing a part in it. You often think as the, as the dad or the mom that we should be showing him, you know, how to how to act or um, how to treat people. But he really has shown us just the, that open-handed willingness to uh, just serve others in any capacity. The Holler family are some of my favorite people that attend our Orion campus. Both Scott and Leanne and their sons, Sam and Luke, are doing an incredible job to being a part of one of the most important things that we do here at Kensington called Move Out. I love this. One of the greatest things we get to do, it's part of our mission statement, to see everyone transform but mobilize. That means we move out. When the love of God impacts our life and our hearts, there's nowhere else for it to go but outward. And it gives you a chance to really do some local outreach right in your backyard, all around the world, all over. But it gives us a chance to move out and make an impact to the people in our community that we love and we care for. And it's one of the greatest things I think that we get to do at Kensington. Hands really down. Is. That's why you know as well as I do, this is a time of year that we're all considering the things that we believe in and we love and how to support them to continue to do what they do into this next year. And I'm just going to challenge you, find a better place to give your money to make an impact. This is how we do it. When you make a year in gift to Kensington, which I'm going to challenge you to do this year, you're creating a space where people like Scott, Sam, Leanne, Luke are being equipped, motivated, and challenged to move out into the community and reach people that we'll never reach inside of our doors. So many of you are a part of that, and so many lives have been transformed because of it. So to all of you, I say thank you and have a great Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.